Hey, TradingView family. I am back to uh, talk to you about how to access Quandle data. So I was asked on a recent post where I posted about Bitcoin transaction fees and their relationship to Bitcoin's price, how I was getting the Bitcoin transaction fee data. And so I thought I'd walk you through how to do that. That actually comes from a website called Quandle. Quandle is a really useful source of all sorts of macroeconomic data. Um, the one that we're going to be looking for is Bitcoin transaction fees. So if I type up here in the search box what I'm looking for. Then in the blockchain library, which I can browse if I click this, but the, the specific one that I'm looking for is Bitcoin cost percent of transaction volume. So I'm going to just pull that up. And then I will shrink the time series to the range that I want. And then to import it into TradingView, I just click this TradingView button right here. And that will import it into TradingView. Now, I already have it imported over here um, on this uh, window. So I just want to show you what I've done here. This transaction fee data is really noisy. And so I can actually hide that transaction fee data by just right clicking on it. And I'm using the 200, the 50 day and 200 day moving average in order to kind of smooth that out. And uh, if you zoom in a little bit and you can also hit compare and add BTC USD, which is what I've done. So this orange line right here, let's make it a different color, make it uh, blue. Okay, so now you can see the relationship between my moving averages and the Bitcoin price, you can see that as Bitcoin peaked here, the transaction fees started to come up and the price of Bitcoin went down progressively as the transaction fees went up. Um, transaction fees peaked and then as they started to come down, the price of Bitcoin began a recovery. Um, here, the transaction fees began to rise again and we saw another peak in the price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin comes down for a while. And then as the price or as the transaction fees made new lows, we saw this latest run up in Bitcoin's price. And arguably one of the things that has been driving the big increase in Bitcoin's price is that the transaction fees are really, really competitive. Um, so right now the transaction fees on Bitcoin, I believe are averaging about half a percent per transaction. And uh, that makes it really competitive because the typical credit card processing fees are, you know, two to 3%. So, that makes Bitcoin really competitive with other electronic transaction platforms. If these uh, fees, transaction fees started to come up, which I would expect to happen if, for instance, there were a big increase in oil prices, because um, a lot of Bitcoin mining is being funded with uh, uh, traditional fossil fuels. So if the fossil fuel prices started to come up, we might see these transaction costs come back up again. Um, then I think we would see Bitcoin's price begin to drop. Um, as it, the transaction fees drive people off the platform. Okay, so that is just one example. There's all sorts of other useful data here in Quandle. If I just type, um, let's say Federal Reserve, um, a lot of the data that's on here is premium data that you have to pay for. But fortunately, the Federal Reserve economic data and US data releases are mostly free. And so you can just sort of browse these collections. You can look at unemployment rates, for instance, and um, import those into TradingView and see how um, unemployment rates affect the um, market over time. So this is a really useful source. And if you have any trouble implementing this, uh, feel free to ask questions in the comments and uh, I can help you, help you figure out how to get the data that you want into TradingView. Thanks so much for watching and happy trading.